a part of this tour and this endeavour was, yep, we're going to play hockey, we're going to represent Michigan State, but we're also going to learn about different cultures and people all over the world. And going to the farm took us away from tourist Cape Town, where there's things you'd see in London or France or somewhere else, and actually see what authentic South Africa would look like. Everyone has their perspective on what Africa or South Africa could potentially look like, so I think we got both ends of it. We saw the wealth and we saw the poverty, and it was just a, such an eye-opening experience how you can go from one part of South Africa to the next, but it definitely gave a lot of perspective. Driving up to the farm, I think we were all pretty eager and excited to meet the people there and really learn what they did and why it was important and kind of the impact it had on them. We're at a farm volunteering for the day, um, just outside of Stellenbosch where we were staying, so it was about an hour drive, so we're just helping out on the farm. After we harvest some olives, we're going to go meet with the women and do some literacy and read with them. And then we're having tea time, some lunch, and then we're going to see some children. The thing that separates it from what you think of a farm here is that, yes, there was crops and there's produce happening. But there's also an after-school program of teaching and a day program of teaching women how to count and read. And they spend about two hours with the ladies just doing basic mathematics and reading. And then they're learning life skills, how to cook, how to clean, sanitation, like how to brush your teeth properly, things that we take for granted here they were learning. And then when the kids come after school, that's kind of the fun part where you get to play the sports and sing and laugh and they do homework and they get a snack and a meal that they may not get when they go home. Putting the food for the kids and we're setting it up. The children there suffer from fetal alcohol syndrome, so some of their focus is not always there. They were really pushing for the children to go to school because a lot of them end up dropping out of school. So just seeing the children wanting to be in school was really impactful and we were then teaching the women how to read and count and write and that was also really just eye-opening seeing the differences in our like education system. I think one way it motivated me is to talk about it more and to go from this experience and use what I've learned to talk about it with other people because I think poverty is kind of a touchy subject and sometimes when I don't have as much knowledge I'm not as forthcoming with ways to help improve or solve the issue and with this experience I think I've given myself and my whole team a foundation to really combat this and understand where we play a role in the whole entire system. It's really how do we share the story of how you can impact people. And that's what I think we as Spartans do on a daily basis. Leaving there we felt like, okay, if we can somehow put a spotlight on this one farm in South Africa that impacts us all immensely, if we can raise however much money, it's going to help them either provide sheep at the farm or produce or a roof over their heads or plumbing in a bathroom. And to think that we can have that big of an impact in one area that will affect probably 50 to 200 people, that to me is worthwhile. Go green, go white. You choose to carry on what you think is valuable and you choose to make an impact on things that you think are important. And I think it's a choice now to carry on what we've learned from South Africa into today and tomorrow and the day after that. After our experience in South Africa, something that I'm planning on bringing to our season coming up is just working for everything and not taking for granted any opportunity we have. We can understand that everyone's coming from different parts of the world, different experiences, so we all have to be really patient with each other, forgiving and understanding. Um, but we also have to understand where, when we can push each other and we're making each other better on the field as people and as athletes. And I just think that we all realize that we can help in the world. We can all make a small difference, whether that's just donating money or even just donating your time. So we just have a greater realization of the world around us. Yeah.